pulled already, and I said, uh, thank you for having me, my name is Tom, I'll uh, give me you my USP, my uh, dad's an army officer. It's quite common for kids of army officers to follow their father's footsteps into the military themselves, but I think doubts were raised at about age seven, when my parents were summoned to the foot of the stairs to watch Tom perform his one-man version of Cats the Musical. <laughs> Yeah, I was there at the very top with ears, whiskers, nose, tail, full cat leotard, <laughs> slinking down the banister going, My cavity's a mystery cat. Oh, it's called the hidden paw. I remember my dad looking at me with the same expression of a man staring down a toilet bowl, trying to figure out just how he's managed to produce such a remarkably large shit. <laughs> because he was in the army, he was away a lot, and people always said, Tom, does that mean you've got daddy issues? It's like, how could I have daddy issues? I hardly even know the guy. <laughs> I've actually just moved in with him. Uh, I now live in the Tower of London. No one believes me. I can tell you don't believe me. Try ordering a Domino's. <laughs> oh really, mid your trade for gates. Fuck off, mate. <laughs> Every time. I, do, I generally do though. Like, uh, I, I, it's not my. Well, it's not. I didn't do it. It's. Uh, I. Yeah, you know, I've got no claim to it. I mean, well, I guess the, the, what I did was is a long time ago, just before I can remember, I won a race <laughs> against a load of other sperm. <laughs> and now my bedroom is next to the room that Guy Fawkes got interrogated in. <laughs> Next to there is the, uh, the chamber where Elizabeth I got uh, kept for two months, and just below me is the crypt where Thomas More, the head of the Catholic Church, he was killed. And uh, his ghost is still meant to the hall of the tower today, because still, uh, to this day, in the dead of night, you can listen out in the, and you can hear young girls screaming, Thomas More. <laughs> <coughs> My dad wrote that joke. It's also not true. Uh, I can't get girls back to the tower. People always go, oh, that's probably a really great pulling line from you. No, no one believes me. Uh, you don't believe me. I can tell you guys don't believe me. And I'm telling you this sober in a theatre. Imagine using that as a pulling line at half three in a smoking area in Vauxhall with a can of red stripe and a blurry expression. So what do you do for a living? I'm a comedian. <laughs> no, you're not. Where do you live? The Tower of London. Fuck off. <laughs> Your house is the Tower of London? Well, one of them. <laughs> and so what happens that I have to go back to the girls' house, and that's got its own problems as well, because, guys, we're all adults here. We've all done a walk of shame in our time. Has anyone done one back to a historical palace? <laughs> that is a shameful walk, my friend. I mean, I've got privilege, but I've got shame. Like, I've got to get off, the, I've got, get off the tube at Tower Hill. I've got to make it through all the tourists, saying stupid questions. The other day, I got stopped by an American guy. He said, excuse me, what side of the river is Tower Bridge on? <laughs> I'm going to make it through the ID check where the beef... I mean, you've all got nosy neighbours, but I'll tell you what, the beef eaters can get a bit judgy. <laughs> You don't know who they are, they're the guys on the, uh, the front of every bottle you've ever cried over. <laughs> then you've got to go right back. My house is Queen's house, which is the bit that's sectioned off, so I've got two, three hundred tourists who are always taking pictures of my house. So the last 40 metres of my walk of shame, I've just got to freewheel it right out in front of everyone and walk like a shaven Sasquatch going into the, the woods and hearing every Asian guy with a camera going, Oh, Prince Harry, Prince Harry, Prince Harry! <laughs> it's like, fuck off, I'm not ginger! I know where my dad is. <laughs> I'm always getting mistaken for him. I swear to God, I bought one Nazi uniform once. <laughs> Guys, I'm Tom Horton. That's me. I've got the flashing light. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>